My name's Nate. Come on, Nate. You got to come stronger than that, brother. You got to come stronger than that. I'm Nate, Nate guys. Uh, my two long-term goals I'm trying to strive for is getting my master's degree and become successful and happy with what I can, like, accomplished with myself in my past, future. Pause. We're going to run that back. All right. You said, my name is Nate, and I'm trying to get my master's. Oh. My name is Nate, and I think you said maybe become. I don't know if you said become successful. Mm -hmm. I need you to say my name is Nate, All right. and I will have my master's degree. Okay. Or you can say that. Which, yeah, which you can go for the big boy. <laughs> go for the big Give us the big boy. All right. Yeah, we want, I want the big boy. Okay. Yeah, you got to give me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Got it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Do this again. Yeah, do it All again. Right. My name is Nate. I will be getting my doctor's degree, for sure. And I will become successful and happy with what I've accomplished in my past. <laughs> okay, and who, 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 do we have, who do we have next? You said you wanted to come on? Yes, come on. Come on, come on brother. You can move the whole table. I mean, when, I mean, when people out here saying what they're going to accomplish in life, I have no problem moving. I'll move a table, I'll move a chair. <laughs> I would move Richland College if I could. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah you got nah. Come on, come on, come on. Hold in, hold Emerson now. Don't do Emerson like that. That's my stuffed animal. It is my stuffed animal. So, okay. So, one of my biggest goals that I want to complete is. Mm mm. You said wanna. I don't know what 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 does wanna mean. You said wanna. What does that mean? One of my goals I'm going to complete. Thank you. Is taking care of feeding and housing all of the homeless people yeah. mm. that are begging on the street they have signs I will work or I will do this for food my objective is to be able to feed everybody that are homeless and house them that's one of my goals can we just clap up for that can we clap up for that real quick but the reason I wanted these gentlemen to step up here and share their goals and the reason I made them hold Emerson Emerson, map, map, Emerson. Because when you begin to speak your goals and you begin to speak the things that you desire to accomplish in your life, people will look at you just like some of y'all looked at them and just like they looked at me before I handed off this stuffed animal. So I want you to begin to understand and get comfortable being uncomfortable because when you begin to say goals this size, people are going to say all kinds of things. People are going to look at you all kinds of ways and people will always try to destroy you just for that. However, when you began to go through those checkpoints, begin to knock those things down one by one, little by little, then next thing you know, you start to see the people who were talking and were saying certain things, a lot of them either fall by the wayside or then they later resurface, one option, or then there's so many other people that just began to join alongside of you. Civil rights movement. Look at some of the leaders in the civil rights movement. They didn't start off with as many people as they had, but at the end of the day, they started moving some mountains with some people because they started running deep. And that's what happens when you have purpose. That's what happens when you have a goal. And that's what happens when you begin to develop something that ultimately isn't about serving you, but it's about serving other people. Would you all agree?